Marriage in Africa is a union between a man and a woman. Most tribes in Africa frown upon same-sex marriage. But you will be shocked to know a tribe in Africa practices woman-to-woman -woman marriage. Bro, what are you talking about, man? Are you serious? Maybe you know what you think. Stick with me to the end and I bet you will appreciate this culture. This is Afterworld. Thanks for watching. The Kuria tribe found along the borders of Kenya, particularly in the Tarime, Musoma, Abunda, and Serengeti districts of the Mara region in northern Tanzania, is not as big as the Maasai of East Africa, but they have a rich and fascinating culture. Kuria people in Eastern Africa have various customs, such as circumcision for both sexes. However, we will focus on an unusual one women marrying women. What? How? Hold on, bro. How? The women of the Kuria tribe are allowed to marry each other, but for a specific reason. It has nothing to do with romance. So, what's the purpose? The unusual married custom makes it possible for a woman who cannot have her own children to still have a family. Teresia made the decision to marry a woman after several attempts to bear her own children born of fruit. The married women are not required to wear rings as a symbol of marriage and do not share the same bed too. This unique custom is known as Nyumba in Tombo, meaning house of women. The tradition allows an older widow who does not have any male descendants to marry a younger woman who does have or will potentially have a son. That way, the son will inherit the older woman's land and ensure that her lineage does not fade away. According to traditional laws in Tanzania, as in many other African countries, women are not allowed to own or inherit any kind of property. In rural areas, not owning land means not being able to eat, let alone earn any money. It means not having a home and always depending on men. Marriage is, for many rural Tanzanian women, the only way to find shelter. In our culture, women cannot inherit property, so I looked for a wife to help. So when I die, they can inherit the family property. <laughs> She chose Joyce because she already had a child, proof enough that she would not let her down. In Nyamba in Tumba marriage, the younger woman is free to have sexual relationships with men. She is expected to bear children that would belong to the older woman's family. Wagesa has no male children and so after her husband passed away, she was left with no heir to her property and the family name. She took Nyansui as her wife to solve the problem. These women from the Kuria community have been married for 15 years. The couple now have six boys, fathered by a relative from the family of Wagesa's late husband. The biological fathers of the children have no rights over the kids. Despite criticisms about this kind of marriage arrangement, coupled with the fact that the children belong to the older woman in the marriage, stripping the biological mother of her rights, the women still prefer it to being with a man. For them, it is a safe haven and a way to escape from abusive relationships. Over time, the Nyamba in Tombo became more common as the Korea population grew. A strange culture, you think? Let us know in the comment section. See you next.